的巨人之一。India is renowned for its spices, and there's no better place to find a wide assortment than the plantation in Tekadi, nestled in the Periyar National Park. Did you know spices come mainly from the bark, buds, fruit, roots, or seeds of plants? While herbs, also plentiful in India, are the leafy parts of plants. It's no wonder the cuisine here is so flavorful. Let's explore. Now, of course, you can't come to India and not learn about spices. And today we are at Tekadi, which is also known as the home of the spice, a 38-acre farm that grows over 16 spices. And uh, Taj here is telling us all about that. Taj, uh, this particular spice over here, what is it called? It's called the old spice. That is called the piment. In botanical, it is called the piment. And this is the taste maker. It's a booster. The five different spice flavor in one tree. That is why it's called all spice. Not an old spice. That is after shave lotion is there. <laughs> it's an all spice, five in one. Pepper, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, and nutmeg. The plantation is a labyrinth of spices and offers tours of its beautiful grounds. For food fanatics, it doesn't get much better than this. I've heard that there's a bit of a royal family affair when it comes to spices. There's something called the queen of spices. Is this what it is? It is the one because 70 percentage of the Indian market of this cardamom is produced in India. And that's only the one spices we can find it throughout the year. Every 48 days, we can harvest the cardamom. That's why we call it a queen. Now, we're all familiar with dried cardamom back home, but I've never seen it myself in its fresh form. Can you actually use it fresh as it is? We can't use the fresh one because the fresh one, we don't get any real taste. After the drying, we can see the, like a black seeds. That's when you'll be getting the proper taste and proper smell. The fresh one, we don't get any taste and we can't keep long use. So if there's a queen, does Her Majesty have a royal king or a prince? The king is the black gold, the pepper. And the prince of the spice, can you guess it? Vanilla. Vanilla. Vanilla pots. That is one of the major spice of Periyar all over the world. That is the cinnamon tree. Cinnamon, they are using the skin the bark of the tree. Just shave it and make it like a roll shape and dry it in the sun. You can just smell it my favorite. Wow, so I don't bite it. <laughs> <laughs> Taj, this doesn't look like the cinnamon that we're used to at home. How do you get it to that kind of state? We are using the skin, the bark of the tree. We have like a special knife. We just shave it and make it like a roll shape and dry it in the sun. That is from the bottom of the bark. And from the middle of the bark, we are making the cinnamon. It's not the roll one. It's like a split it. It's like a real spicy one. And one of the best medicine for the control and the cholesterol, we can use the cinnamon. And it's only harvested twice a year. That's why we can't actually see it today. But it, the season is between April and May. So we're a bit early. Wow. OK, so I think it's time we see His Royal Highness, the King of Spices. King of Spices. All right, let's go. Wow, this tree smells so good, I can actually lick it. <laughs> <laughs> The Periyar National Park is not only famous for its plantation, but for its thriving wildlife too. Elephants, owls, deer and even tigers are found in the park. It's a safe haven for the indigenous animals that find themselves at peace here. Nestled among all the wild vegetation are the hidden gems, including the granddaddy of all spices, black pepper. Black pepper is native to southern India, although Vietnam is the world's largest producer of this popular spice. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nearly fell. But this is it. The Royal Highness, the King of all spices. King of the spices. So why do they call it the King of Spices? Well, like a long years ago when the Portuguese, Dutch, European people, when they are traveling to India, the main business they are taking the pepper from here to other countries for preserving the meat, ah. salt and pepper. That aim who are married, instead of gold, you will be getting the black pepper. Mm. That aim the European people they are calling pepper is the black gold, mm. King of the Spice. From the high treetops to the roots hidden under the soil, spices come in all shapes and sizes. And the plantation has it all. Wow! <laughs> Such a vivid colour. Poor man suffer. Mm. Oh really, is that what it's Turmeric. called? Turmeric. It's growing under the ground. The plant is, looks like a cardamom, but it's like a small bushes. And under the ground it's called rhizomes. It's not a root. All the people are saying ginger and turmeric, it's a root but it's a rhizome, part of the root. Antiseptic, antibacterial, and anti-cancer thing. That's the turmeric. Mm. Wow. 
that is one of the medicine that is called the curcumin from the turmeric they are making for anti-cancer. Well, I'm wondering, with all these elephants around here, it's a wonder you're able to maintain the spice plantation. Because of the organic things. Eating too much and dropping too much. <laughs> Free compost. <laughs> and I heard you can ride them too? Yeah, oh. they can ride the elephant, right? Really? Yeah. So like, you know what I'm thinking, right? So when you're in India, there's one thing that you can't leave without having done, and that is taking a ride around a spice plantation on the back of an elephant. Cat, I'm terrified. So, I... okay. It's part of the fun. Let's go. Yes, yes. All right. Yes. Oh, Feel the muscles beneath your buttocks. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, <laughs> It's all the same. Wow. You get used to it. These majestic elephants are of the Asian breed and different from those found in Africa. The Asian elephant is smaller than the African elephant and weighs between 2,000 and 5,000 kilograms. They are timid and more likely to run away from a threat than to attack. It's the friendliest transportation around and a great view too. After a long day out, it's time to unwind at the Spice Village. This tribal mountain resort has taken on a modern twist and serves as a sanctuary for guests. Phew, what a day. What a fantastic day. I must say, I'm starved right now though. What's, what's for dinner, so? Me too, I don't know. Let me check what the chef's up to. Okay. Chef. Hello. What's cooking for dinner? We are going to do today the mutton pepper roast. Okay. And what ingredients do we need for that? We, it's normally in Kerala, we use the coconut oil. Mm -hmm. We have the coconut oil here. Then we have the spices like the cinnamon, cardamom and the cloves. Uh -huh. Then we have garlic, uh, ginger, green chilli, curry leaves, mm -hmm. turmeric powder, coriander powder, chilli powder, red chilli powder. More chilli? No, more chilli. <laughs> then we have the garam masala, salt, fennel. Mm -hmm. mm and as well as onions and tomatoes. Oh, I see you've got fresh peppercorns here today. Yeah, we, we get, Kerala, we get lots of fresh peppercorns. So we can use directly either dried or in a fresh form. So we are doing it with the fresh form, today, the fresh peppercorns. We just learned so much about them today. I'm very interested to try them. I'll leave it to We'll do it. Prepare this mouth-watering mutton curry by heating oil in a pan and then adding cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, chili and curry leaves. SMS the keyword curry to 33728 for a list of the ingredients and a link to this recipe. Chef Jerry says the secret to cooking with spices is to toast them first in a hot pan before adding the other ingredients. This releases the essential oils and gives great depth to the flavor. If you want to make this dish at home, Paco gives South Africans a taste of India. Now you know their spices come from some of the best plantations in the world, allowing you to experience the flavors like Zola and I did. Remember to SMS curry to 33728 for this recipe. This dish is best served with some basmati rice. Thank you. Ah, just in time. Enjoy your mutton. Thank you very much. Oh, this looks amazing. Hey, sir? Yeah, take in. to the chef. So what's been the, your favorite part of the day? Hey. I must say, I really enjoyed the elephants, even though I was scared to death. <laughs> Which you were? Yeah, I was. But it's like one of those once in a lifetime opportunities. If you come to India and you're given an elephant to ride, ride the elephant. <laughs> I must say, I really enjoyed getting to learn about all the different kinds of spices, especially getting to see them all in their natural state, you know, when they come up from the roots. Especially when you got to see an owl. Like, how random was that? I know. <laughs> mm, this is delicious. Compliments to the chef, and I think we've got a martial arts show coming up tonight. You ready to get your <laughs> on? Uh, catch, I'm leaving that to you. <laughs> Indian martial arts is high paced and exciting. The sport requires fitness, agility, and guts. These guys can certainly pack some power. This is something to be left to the experts and not to be tried at home. India has an endless stream of entertaining things to see and do. Tune in again next week for the last leg of our adventure. With Paco Curry Made Easy, making curry is as easy as one, two, three.
Choose Paco for the perfect curry every time.